In Cardano, there is something called staking. Staking is great. You can stake with a stake pool, earn 3 to 4% annually, and it's completely liquid in your control. And it's awesome, right? But there's also other forms of staking on Cardano with NFTs and also with fungible tokens on Cardano, native assets that aren't ADA, essentially. And some of these... If you're not taking a jack stake with your ADA and you want to earn, you know, more degenerate weights of ROI, get up to 37%. And there's a lot of different tokens on Cardano. Who knows which of these you can actually stake? Actually, we do. And I'm going to go over that today. Uh, projects on Cardano and FT projects have some outstanding ROIs at the moment. Will these be sustainable? Probably not if they're really high. And will these be worth your time and effort? maybe really depends um, there's a lot of questions to be asked and today i want to go over just what is the likelihood that these ROIs are sustained and what are the roi opportunities currently at the present value in cardano nfts and in cardano native assets in general first things first i want to go over that my holdings are going to be a part of this chart i did not make the chart i did not show the chart i did not create the chart but this chart is based on data that suggests the rois for the tokens are exactly what they say they are on the charts, not because they're in my NFT holdings. But I'm going to disclaim that I do hold a lot of these projects. I'm going to show you exactly what I hold for these projects that we go into, including right now, my main holdings of native assets in Cardano, as you can see below. Now, just note that a lot of these are products that are easy to manipulate. And also note that these are staking, a lot of these are just staking tokens to earn more of their token. And the only real utility in some cases is to just sell the token. Okay, that is a very likelihood that a lot of these ROIs are kind of created through Ponzi nomics. Okay, I'm not going to say they're Ponzi schemes directly, but they have Ponzi nomic like things to them that maybe aren't so sustainable in the long term. And any ROI that is, you know, 11, 20, 37 percent likely will not sustain. And you need to be careful if you're putting leverage on this, if you're being stupid, if you're being a degenerate, you will get wrecked. Okay. This is probably going to happen. Okay. You could get lucky and you could make a bunch of money, but most people get wrecked in these scenarios because someone has to lose for someone to win. Okay. Now going into this, we're going to be talking from a bottom or from the top to bottom. We're going to be talk, talking about the top uh, five or so and just going over the platforms because these ROIs are pretty sane, insane from 22% uh, to 37%. First things first, Veggie Mates token. Veggie Mates token is uh, the Veggies and Junkies Squad token. If I go here, I can show you that I myself have 4,700 greens. This is the Veggie Mates token staked, and this earns me 4.8 greens per day. The ROI in this is very good. Um, it's not based on, you know, you're making $10 a day. It's based on the ROI. So how much money can you put in and how much money will you get back? over the course of the year. And the answer for this specifically right now at current rates is 37% uh, based on when you buy it. If you buy 100 Veggie Mates token, you will get 37% back ROI in the course of a year, which is really good. Now that is current valuation. So say you bought 5,000 Veggie Mates tokens today and they dropped a quarter of the price. It doesn't matter that you get 31% ROI in the token because it's worth you know 75% less. So the ROI kind of negates itself. So something to keep in mind, that stays true for every single thing in this video, and you're going to have to be careful. Okay, this is not just a get rich quick uh, analogy here. This is not a get rich quick ROI. Just because ROI is high does not mean it's sustainable and does not mean it's gonna make you USD valuations. You may get more tokens uh, of these tokens, but are they worth anything? Will they be worth anything? And are they worth their time and possible loss of investment? Also, I'm definitely not a financial advisor. So if you're trying to make financial decisions, you're gonna have to make them by yourself or with a financial advisor because I'm just a dude in my mom's basement. Now, I just want to specifically mention that this crazy ROI for greens is for the token itself, which you can earn or buy uh, by staking Veggie Mates to earn greens or just buy greens to stake greens. And you can do it on the Veggie Mates platform which is staking.virtuallymade.io if you want to do that. Next up on the list, as we can see here, is Tavern Squad. And I want to mention first to go check out this direct tweet from Goofy Crisp. Goofy Crisp puts out a ton of great content, and I highly recommend you follow him if you're in Cardano NFTs and you want to learn deep analytics and things that are very relevant to the space on a constant basis. Please, please go follow him and thank him for this amazing, uh, basically, aggregation of data. Tavern Squad, though, is a little bit different. I did mention that a lot of these tokens are tokens just to be tokens and to sell for 
USD value or ADA. But I do think Tavis Coin actually has some a bit more utility and it's pretty cool the fact that you can passively stake your adventurers, which are NFTs. I mean, I will show you right here. I do have adventurers that can find the tab. I do have 2070 of these puppies. I bought them when they were like 25 ADA. They're now like 300 or 400 ADA. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm not trying to flex here. I'm just trying to tell you my position when I got in and you know I didn't just buy 30 of them at 400 ADA except a lot um, but yeah I have a bunch of these I want to make that clear and it's pretty cool I do like the platform you get passive rewards in their token uh, for shards that you can convert into the actual token that have by themselves according to this chart an ROI of around 35% which is pretty insane and this does not take into account the fact that you can actually use these uh, adventurers to start raids uh, that some take a day some take three days some take 30 days some take an hour um, and these raids can give you rewards um, and you can go into different types of rewards and collect more loot and even then increase that ROI even further than 35% so tavern squad's pretty awesome veggie makes taking platform gives you insane ROI we also have Ape Society. Likely you know about this project. It's the highest floor on Cardano NFTs for a you know PFP project. And if we go over to their website, you can see you can also uh, stake to your frames. And I don't have any apes, so I can't really show this. But this overall has a pretty good ROI of 28%. As you can see on this chart, we also have Makasi, ITO2, and 1 uh, coming in respectively at 14% and 22% ROIs at the current floor values. Um, ADA per year, if you have 1 Makasi ITO at current prices of floor values and current prices of uh, basically the, their native token, MCOS, it would yield you 9 ADA per year. You can see here that I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, 1 Vegemate screen token will net you 0 0.88 ADA per year or 0 0.0002 hit per day. And also you can see above here, um, Ape Societies, because they're worth obviously a lot more, net you around 3,000 ADA per year. But if you put this into perspective, if you put the $11,000 or sorry, 11,000 ADA into any of these, the ROIs uh, and this ADA per year would change accordingly. And right now, Vegemates and Tavern Squad are the two that are on top for ROIs, yielding both over 30%. Keep in mind, these probably won't be sustainable and these are going to fluctuate and a lot of people are going to lose money here so a lot of people can make money so please 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 be careful but it is pretty cool it's interesting and it is good data to consume when you're making decisions on the market and you want to know what's going on and why things maybe are up in price and why things are down in price people like staking people like passive rewards on top of this though Makasi, and I want to make this clear. I have a lot of Makasi. Um, if we scroll down here, I have MCOS right here, but I also have 35 Makasi ITOs, the first gens, 70 of the ITO2s, the ones I've breeded, and also 36 lands. So I have a lot of these uh, NFTs. I did mint uh, a lot of them, but also I did buy them from secondary a while back when it was worth substantial more valuation for ADA per dollar. And they are yielding quite a bit in terms of ROI. And I'm happy with that. Uh, but their staking platform is just basically right now an airdrop. Uh, and the airdrop yields you their token. And they also do have a game coming, I believe, at the end of the year. Sorry, the end of the month. Uh, this month, which will be out to anyone holding the ITOs. They can play and earn even more rewards. Finally, I'll mention Derp Apes because it's in between a Makasi ITO 1s and 2s. Um, I haven't looked much into this, but you can stake them uh, and earn some derp and then if you have one derp ape it'll earn you roughly 27 ADA per year which is pretty good a 16 percent roi uh, i do again have a derp ape in my wallet if i scroll down here i have three of them so i'm going to make that abundantly clear and as you can see here i didn't show this earlier 19 junkies um, and i do have some veggie mates as well so keeping this all transparent that's pretty interesting uh, there's a lot more data in here um, different things that are staking there is multiple things clay nation good charlotte's mutant mice as well um, and even mutant crocs and clay nations in general all of these yielding more than traditional ada staking rewards but there is a lot more risk first of all there's risk between ada price and token price and that fluctuation there is that going to be worth it is the change in discrepancy going to render you essentially an impermanent loss if you make a big investment into this or is it going to go up in value and you would be even better off with a higher ROI than expected, or will it just stay neutral? 
all questions to ask yourself before dumping a bunch of money for a high ROI that may or may not be sustainable with markets that are easily to fluctuate. That's it for today though. 37% ROIs for Veggie Mates tokens, pretty cool. And overall, seeing these big numbers is nice to think about, but a lot of it is not going to last and you have to keep that in mind. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.